Hey guys, welcome back. Now moving to the next algorithm that is Kosa Raju's algorithm. Like Tarjan's algorithm, Kosa Raju's is also a TFS based algorithm that is used to find strongly connected components in a given graph. Other than TFS traversals, this also involves reversal of graph where all the edges get reversed and a strongly connected component will still remain strongly connected even after reversing its edges. Why? Because every vertex will still be reachable from every other vertex. Therefore, transposing a graph won't change the type of the graph. And Kosa Raju's algorithm uses this property of graph to detect these strongly connected components. Let's see how this algorithm works. First step is we do DFS traversal over each node in the graph and we push nodes into a stack when it get finished. By getting finished, I mean when it get done visiting each child node. So for that, we take an array to keep track of visited nodes and a stack. So now we start visiting nodes, starting from zero, traverse and mark it as visited. Then there is just one outgoing edge, we traverse vertex one and mark it as visited. Then two, then from two there are two outgoing edges, zero is already traversed so we go to three. From three we traverse four and then there are two child nodes, we traverse five first. Then from 5, we go to 6 and from 6, we traverse its child node, which is 7. Now we see 7 has no outgoing edges, that is, it has no child nodes left to visit. So we push vertex 7 into the stack. Coming back, 6, we are done visiting its child node 4 and 7, so we put 6 into the stack. Then 5 and then 4, then 3, 2, 1, and 0. Now step 2 comes where we reverse the original graph. And again do DFS traversal starting from top vertex present in the stack, which in our case is 0. So we pop 0 and start traversing graph from 0 and mark it as visited. From 0, we can go to 2, so vertex 2 gets visited, and then 1. From 1, we again get to 0, which is already traversed. So here we get done with this DFS traversal, which means we get a strongly connected component. As even after reversing the graph, we got a cycle. So this component is a strongly connected component. Moving forward. We still have nodes in the stack. So we repeat the process and keep popping the node until we get any unvisited node. So on top there is one. We check it's already visited. So we pop the node. Then two. Two is also visited. Now we come to vertex three. From three there is just a single outgoing edge which is already visited. Hence, 3 is the single vertex SCC. Then we again start DFS traversal from the top vertex in the stack, and that's 4. Then we go to 6 and 5. From 5, we can't go to any vertex as 4 is already visited, so here we found another SC component. So we continue the process and keep popping the nodes until we get to 7 which is unvisited. At last we visit 7 and since there is no outgoing vertex from 7 so we get another SC component that is 7. And now we can see the stack is empty and we got all the strongly connected components present in the graph. Summing up, Kosa Raju's algorithm consists of three steps. Step 1. 
perform DFS traversal of the graph and push nodes to the stack when it get finished. Step 2. Reverse the original graph by reversing direction of all the edges and then step 3 comes to again performing DFS traversal starting from the top of the vertex of the stack. When DFS gets finished, the visited nodes form a strongly connected component. So after DFS gets finished, if still there are nodes in the stack, we pop those nodes until an unvisited node is found. So we repeat this process until the stack gets empty. So basically we are traversing graph two times and we get the strongly connected components by traversing the transpose of the graph because it isolates the SECs from each other. Hope you got the concept behind the Gosa Rajas algorithm.